for me personally, I got to go to a hospital to have my children. Why shouldn't people everywhere get to do that and have that and have access to that? I think everyone deserves to have access to health care, no matter where they live. It's a human right. When you're a woman in labor, one of the last things that you want to do is get on a motorbike. But that is the reality for the women of Uganda's Bukadia region. Um, there's one maternity unit in the village of Kachimbala that serves the entire region. Women who traveled to the facility often faced the situation where they had to deliver and then immediately move to a concrete floor to recover to make room for the next mom. The biggest challenge that we have been having is the space, the capacity, because sometimes we can even have like eight mothers in a day, but they don't have where to, to rest from. So we, we are forced to discharge them because of time of discharging so that they can create space for others, the ones who come later. The circumstances around the existing maternity unit started to explain why rural eastern Uganda has such a high infant mortality rate with 35 to 40 out of 1,000 children not living to see their first birthday. Um, to start to address this, HKS um, set about to design a new maternity ward that was sustainable and net zero. It was sustainable because it had to be. There's not reliable water and electricity to the site. The lights are on and off anytime it can go off. So sometimes we even end up using our torches in phones to use for what? Flashing to have light. It's been a very big challenge, but I'm really very happy that we have solar and enough lights. We partnered with EFOD, which stands for Engineers for Overseas Development and Clive Building Skills. EFOD helped us understand how to design in a resource deficient setting. We partnered with Clive Building Skills to teach the local community how to actually build the building. Um, there was no electricity to the site, and so we were not able to use power tools, so things like bricks were used with a local press and fired on site in the sun. Um, there were 40 community members who worked on site all day. They were fed lunch, they were paid a fair living wage, and they walked away from that experience having experience and skills in building trades that they would be able to use long after the project was complete. We designed the building to be fully passive um, to allow for thermal comfort, airflow, and um, high quality daylight. There are also cisterns on the site that serve both um, the medical needs and um, provide water for the community. So the building truly is resilient. It is able to operate um, and function regardless of whether the municipal electricity and water is available at the time. We shall encourage more mothers to come to deliver from here since we have a lot of space to accommodate them. The new maternity unit was designed to accommodate an additional six births a day. Um, Post-occupancy data has told us that an additional 12 women a month are being served by the facility, which is almost 150 women a year that otherwise would not have had access to labor and delivery services. Um, we also know that there have been zero reported uh, maternal or infant fatalities since the building opened. The problems with the existing unit had nothing to do with the skills of the work staff. It had to do with the building itself, and that was something that we could directly affect. This building has brought a very big difference for us in Bukit Achumbala as well as Bukit Achumbala. We all have mothers and sisters' arms. We all have a connection to um, family life, to babies being born and to the safety that's required around them. And so to get involved with something that fundamentally alters and, and, and changes the lives of mothers here, it, you realise there's a connectivity that is genuine and global. It's, it's just about the basics of life. And so, if not me, then who?